Hello everyone, this is Anton and in today's video I want to get into another plugin that I recently came upon. It's a really good plugin um, and I was really excited to kind of get a video out and show this plugin and what it can actually do. Uh, the plugin is, you know, revolves around the, the Explorer, the File Explorer pane here and it really enhances the user experience with uh, the, the basically the file explorer. So first I want to actually show the default explorer window here and this is technically I guess not the default default because I'm using a theme on here so things do uh, look a little different but the file explorer tab basically shows you all your folders you can go through and you can expand to see different files that are in your explorer and here at the top you can add a note you can add a folder and then you can sort things um, within this file explorer tab and that's pretty much it from the plain vanilla default out of the box um, capabilities that you get with the file explorer but let's go ahead and look at a um, a, another plugin here that completely enhances this experience and takes it to another level. All right, we'll go into settings. We'll come into the community plugins. I already have this plugin installed, but if you need to look for it out of the box, just go ahead and do a search for file. And what we're looking for here is this file tree alternative plugin. As I mentioned, I already have it installed, so I'll go ahead and scroll down into my installed plugins. And I'm looking at version 7.7, uh, 1.77 here. And it's all I have to do is go ahead and enable that plugin. Okay, so now that plugin is installed, we can go ahead into the file tree alternative options for this plugin. And we can go through. It does have a lot of different um, options here on what you can set. You can either have them set on by default or turned off if you don't like them. You can also come in here and change some of the icons, whether to show the root um, the folder directory. And I'll go ahead and get into some of those right now. But let's go ahead and look at the what what change you have um, by default once you enable this file tree alternative plugin. Okay, so we're looking at the file tree alternative plugin here in this tab. You get this little file tree icon. You can enable to have it here in the sidebar as well. And by default, it separates the folders, which you can see here at the top from the files that are at the Now, one thing to note here is that you can have, you know, you can go ahead and expand your folders and you can see the different folders that are underneath here. And if they have subfolders, you will get a little plus sign or an indicator notating that there are subfolders underneath the folder that you're looking at. One other notable thing that should have been apparent right off the bat is that you get these little numbers on the side that gives you the the number count of the notes that you have, or you can go into the settings to uh, give you the count of all files within this folder. So sticking to the top level folder area, you can click on an actual note. It'll show you the files within that folder. You can also set the focus on this folder. So if you go to a subfolder and you want to basically clear everything else from around it, you can hit focus on folder and you only see the things that are within this folder structure. So, and you can do that at the different levels. So here I have a subfolder. I can go ahead and focus on that folder and then it shows me all the different folders within it. So this focus on folder is really nice for cleaning up the, you know, the explorer window here or the pane so that you can concentrate on what you need to get to. And if you want to get back to the root folder or the parent folder, you can easily just come in here and right click on it and go back to parent folder, which takes you, of course, one step up. And if you want to just go to the root folder, you can go all the way to the top. Now let's go ahead and gravitate towards down to the files here that we can see. So you can close 
the actual the, the pane here using the X it's pretty easy if you click on the folder it comes back uh, so to make it more convenient for you to see these files and once you're down here in this pane there are a few buttons that can be selected here to make it easy to either reveal the active file that's being shown in the um, active pane here of if you have a note open so if I click on that it goes all the way down and it shows me the actual file that is open you can hide any uh, files from subfolders so here if I go ahead and hide the files from from the subfolder uh, you may not see much of a change here just because there's a lot of files within the default folder that I have here but any of the ones say in this folder here below were actually um, uh, are not showing anymore so we can go ahead and put that back you can search readily from this pane right here so instead of having to switch over to the search tab that you're used to you can do all your searching from here now you don't get all of the same functionality that you would in the other search uh, but it is very convenient that you can just go ahead and do a simple search from here and find the different files within the uh, the you know the hierarchy of your vault and then if you need to create a note you can come in here and add a note and yeah it's pretty much that easy so you can go down and you can scroll through one little anomaly that I noticed here or bug with the scrolling right now I have a one of the settings set to fix this header on here I'll show you where this can be enabled or disabled but when it is enabled you can see the little icons for the files kind of pass through that header uh, that that could be something related to the theme I'm using uh, but this is uh, of course something that's not the way it should be at least in my point of view so let's go into the settings and see a few things that we can do here so they have what's called a Evernote view if we go ahead and it's on by default if we go ahead and switch that off and we go ahead and close we can see what this looks like so you, right now you have one single pane where before it was divided and if we go back we can see the actual folder we click on this folder it takes us into this folder and it focuses on only the files within this folder so similar to what you got on the you know the the different setting where the folders were at the top and then the file was at the bottom except now the you know you get this one pane instead of a split view and you get a nice focus on each folder as you click on it now that could be useful for some people to continue having the folder the way it it, it focuses in on this here but i honestly like to have that split pane so i will go ahead and turn that back on the ribbon icon as I mentioned there's an icon in the ribbon on the side there if I click that that disappears so this icon here would be in the sidebar unless you want it off then there are some settings around the icons I have it set here for the circle GG if we move to default let's see what that looks like you can see here go ahead and change it and that's it for the different types of folders icons that you can have on there I honestly like the circular um, icons next to the folders myself so I'll leave those there um, also there's a setting here if you want to change um, so hide the root folder level so if we look at this we can see the top portion of my vault the root folder is called Mecca if you do not want to see that then you can turn that off and when we go here we can only see the subfolders within your vault so I mentioned that you, by default you can see the actual folder count 
uh, the, the, the notes and file count that are shown on the side of the folders here. Let's take a look at that, these here. And if you want to turn that off, there is a setting for it. You can come in here and turn it off there. And you can get this similar type of view without those numbers showing like you would in the default file in Explorer. Turn that back on. Um, that count can also either consist of only notes or all files. You can change that. Now also in the file pane settings here, you can include files from subfolders uh, to, the, to the file list. So uh, when you click on an actual folder, it's going to show you all the files within that main folder and any subfolders that are uh, that could be within that parent folder. If you want to disable that, you can go ahead and disable that from here. You can turn on or off the button that uh, that includes files from subfolders. If you remember seeing it, it was the little eye icon short here. This little eye icon here in the file pane. If you want to turn that off, you can do that here. We'll go ahead and turn it off so you can see that it does work and it's missing there now. So there's also, you know, in addition to the button for toggling on the viewing the subfolders, there's one to turn on and off the icon that shows to reveal the active file. If you don't remember, that one was just here. So if we want to turn that off, we can come in here, reveal button, we'll turn that off and we'll see that that disappears also. Go back in here, turn that on. And then also the search and file list, we can turn this on and off. So if I turn it off, you'll see the search is missing there now. You can turn all three of these off if you want to clean up, basically clean up the actual uh, file pane here so that there's nothing really sitting across the top except the create new note. And you can also come in here and set the, the default sort similar to what you could in the, in the default file explorer here. But you can sort by uh, either name or last updated. You can enable the preview when you hover over the actual file. So if we come and hover over here, we can get a preview of this file. And you can also come in here and enable this fix buttons to header. So if we, right now it's enabled, if I uncheck that and I go to scroll that file button, you can see how this header scrolls with it. Uh, myself, I prefer to have the header uh, fixed in place, but if you don't like to see that when you're scrolling through, then you can actually disable that. So those are all the things that uh, basically are notable with this plugin. This plugin, I think, really uh, turns it up a notch for the File Explorer, the user experience of getting to your files and, and you know, navigating through folders, being able to set focus on certain folders here. I really do like the this particular plugin and and uh, the functionality that it gives you. Let me know what you think about this plugin and if you like it, don't forget that the developers also come in here and you can also buy them a a coffee and show your contribution to the different things that they're doing to enhance your experience with Obsidian. And as always, if this video was informative and brought you value, don't forget to go ahead and like this video, subscribe to the channel, and until the next time, have a nice day.